Dan Poneman here at the NBA Top 100 camp with a son, with the son of a player who once played in the NBA. Um, Rex Chapman's son, Zeke. Uh, he's not just his dad's son, though he's also a very nice player in his own right, um, being recruited by a lot of Division I schools and holding his own out here against the elite players in the entire country. First off, talk about this whole experience of being able to be a part of this camp with such an elite group of players and such a prestigious event and what you've taken from this whole experience. It's great. I mean, you go out here every day and you get the best competition. It's like, uh, there's nothing like it. I mean, there's no, usually when you play club, there's like a couple like weaker kids out there. There's, there's none out here. You gotta, you gotta bring it every play. You can't take plays off. And uh, aside from the games, I got so much out of the skill work and, and being able to uh, work with all the pros and stuff like that. So that's really good. Yeah, and talk about that, getting the skill work and, and the classes you've been taking and education and things like that and, and, and what you've taken from that. I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, you can go out there anytime and just grab like grab a pro and, and ask him to, to work with you on something, whether it be ball handling, coming off speed and stuff like that. And then the education stuff's been good too. We, uh, we go up every day and, and they talk about different things from drugs to sex to how to manage your money later in life. So it's really, really valuable stuff. And, and you've been blessed to have your father there to help guide you through this because he's been through it all. Um, just talk about uh, the things that your father has taught you and, and the, the ways that he's helped you uh, go through this process of being an elite basketball player. My dad's been great. I mean, he uh, he can go work out all the time. I mean, he teaches me just basketball-wise. And then I think uh, part of the reason I've, I've, I know the game so well is because of him growing up all my life around basketball. So, I, I mean, it's great having a uh, dad, I wouldn't change for anything. Yeah, and if you had grown up in Kentucky, you probably would have people asking about your dad everywhere you went if you stepped out the door. But you're living in Arizona. <coughs> um, so do you get that a lot? Do people, like your classmates, even know who your dad is? Uh, they kind of know who he is, just from, just from the sons, because he played for them. But, but it's kind of getting to the point where, uh, where as we get older, not too many people remember him. But uh, it's funny because we my high school team went back last year and then we go back this year to play in a Christmas tournament in Kentucky. So, I mean, when I go back there, it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you mentioned to me, which I was shocked here, I said, are you a, a Kentucky fan? You said, no, I'm a Louisville fan. How the hell, heck did that happen? Well, uh, when uh, my mom and dad first got married, my mom actually worked for uh, Rick Pitino. She, uh, she worked at his restaurant, and she tutored his kids and stuff like that, and we got to become like really good family friends. So I wasn't, I wasn't alive when he was at Kentucky, but he's had he been... He's a global coach. Yeah, so had he been, I'm sure I would have been a Kentucky fan, but since he was a global coach, I just started liking that. Well, Louisville's got some good players coming in, uh, in particular Wayne Blackshirt from my city. Um, so bright future, but uh, you know, you're a Louisville fan, but you're looking at schools on the West Coast. We've got a lot of schools pretty used at San Francisco, Santa Clara, Stanford. Um, talk about the experience of going through the recruiting process and what you're going to be looking for in your final college destination. It's crazy. I mean, you, you, uh, you just want to know kind of what you're doing, but you have to wait it out and, and weigh all the options and stuff like that. Uh, for me, I think it'll just be, obviously, I want to get a good education. And uh, I want to go in somewhere where I can, where I can contribute. I don't, I don't want to go to the school and maybe just because of the name and, and sit on the bench. I'd like to go in and play and, and have an effect.